Hi, Megan here from RaisingGoatForBeginners.com. Um, I am one of the three goat ladies. Today we are going to discuss the seven signs to look for to determine if your goat is pregnant. It can be very tricky sometimes to determine if your goat is pregnant, but knowing what to look for will make it much easier. These seven signs will help you know if baby goats are in your future. This can be very frustrating sometimes and a little tricky, but by observing and, and watching your goat, you should be able to determine fairly, fairly ac accurately that your doe is bred. Okay, today we have Tariel with us. She is going to be our demonstrator for today. She's a super good girl and um, she is actually indeed pregnant at this time. So the number one sign that you are going to look for to determine if your goat is indeed pregnant is if the goat does not come back into heat again. Um, this can sometimes be tricky. This is the main sign to look for when trying to decide if your goat is bred. A doe's heat cycle will last approximately 21 days. So every 21 days, give or take a few days, your doe will come back into heat. If you aren't sure how to tell if your doe is in heat, um, just leave us a comment and let us know and we can um, see about getting a video made on that topic as well. So if your doe comes into heat and you put her with the buck and three weeks later she doesn't come into heat, then she should be bred. I would continue to monitor her for a couple of cycles to be sure that she is truly bred and doesn't have another heat. Now, sometimes that can occasionally happen. Your doe will appear to be in heat and then a week later come into heat again. Um, that is referred to as a false heat. This can be very frustrating and you might be wondering how this is even possible. Sometimes when a doe is first coming into heat at the beginning of the breeding season, she will have a false heat. Being around a buck can trigger a false heat as her body is trying to get ready to breed. Whenever I see any symptoms of heat and I'm trying to breed a doe, I immediately put her with the buck. I had a doe once appear to come into heat every week for three to four weeks before she finally became pregnant. She would come into heat and I would be so sure that she was bred and then a week later it would start all over again. So keep monitoring your does daily until you are confident that they are indeed pregnant. Also, as a side note, be sure to write down the date that you believe your doe was bred. Trust me, when it comes close to delivery time, you are going to want to know that date. Okay, number two, being more aggressive. This doesn't always happen. After all, each doe is unique, but some of my does become a lot more aggressive when pregnant. A doe that is pregnant might start challenging the herd queen or at least fighting back when provoked. Um, I guess I can't really blame her. Even people get cranky when pregnant, right? The third sign that you're going to look for is getting fatter. This is a tricky sign and not super reliable. You really need to know your doe to be able to rely on this symptom. Some does can look like they're carrying triplets and not even be pregnant at all. While some does will not even look pregnant and be carrying multiples. So it, you really need to know your goat for this sign. If, if you know how your goat normally looks and you realize that she is getting much wider than is usual for her, that can be a sign of pregnancy. Number four, milk production decreases. If your doe is already in milk when she is bred, then her milk supply will probably begin to drop off a couple of weeks after she becomes pregnant. The fifth sign to look for would be that a doe develops a milk bag or her bag fills up. 
if your doe has never been bred, then approximately a month before her due date, she should start to develop her udder. If she has been bred before, then her udder will fill up before delivery. However, um, with a doe that's already been bred before, the, the timeline of when her udder will fill up will differ. It could happen a month before or only a few days before delivery. So this sign is more helpful if your doe is a first freshener. Um, number six would be that you can feel the baby's movements. This is also a sign that is noticed as the pregnancy progresses and the babies grow. As the babies grow, you can sometimes feel the movement and the kicks of the babies if you put your hand on the right side of her belly. Make sure that you are feeling on the doe's right side and not the left side. Most movements that are felt on the left side will be from the goat's rumen. So feel the right side and you sh hopefully can feel uh, some baby kicks there. Number seven, tail ligaments will loosen. As the doe gets closer and closer to delivery, the ligaments around her tail head will loosen. They will begin to disappear. You should feel two pencil-like ligaments that run from about here down to the goat's tail. As the goat gets closer to delivery, those ligaments will loosen and will eventually disappear where you could honestly put your entire finger almost around the goat's tail. It will become very jello-like and very jiggly and will wiggle back and forth just before she goes in to labor. And that is seven signs that your goat is pregnant. I hope that this video has helped you to determine if your goat is indeed pregnant. Um, please leave us a comment below and let us know and be sure to share some beautiful baby goat pictures with us as soon as they are born. We cannot wait to see them. Thanks for watching and have a great day.